Hi, welcome today to our devotion on identity, design, and purpose. Today we're going to read out of Genesis 1, verses 26 and 27. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. So God created the sun, the moon, the stars. He spun the galaxies into orbit. He created the trees and the flowers and the mountains and the valleys, the oceans. He created monkeys and giraffes. And elephants and eagles and lions and tigers and bears and dolphins and whales. Everything that creeps, everything that flies and everything that swims. And then for his grand finale, he created mankind in his image and in his likeness. God created us, you and me, to be a reflection of him in the world we live in. His intent was that when others see us, they would see him in us. Jesus made this statement to some of his followers one day. He said, when you've seen me, you've seen the Father. Now, that was true. Scripture declares that Jesus was or is the image of the invisible God. In the same way, you and I were created in God's image. No, you're not God, so let's just step back from that thought just a little bit. No, you were created in his image, though. However, you know, I mean, God's plan for you begins with us understanding that truth, that you were created in his image and his likeness. You were created to be his image bearer in the world. Just consider that for a moment. You were created to reflect his love, his character, his nature to the world around you to all of those that you come in contact with. So when others see you, do they see him? I mean, just think about that for just a moment. Can they see him in you, in the way you interact with them, in the the way you uh, converse with them? Can they see him in you? Consider this, this reality. You carry in you and on you the likeness and the image of your creator, God. Determine today, as you walk through life, as you see others, determine today to allow others to see him in you. That's it for today. We'll see you tomorrow for more identity, design, and purpose. God bless.